Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So, this is what I'm going to do today. Uh, I like uh, normally hunting at night, and we are out here tonight hunting for tomato hornworms. Now, they are a moth variety, and normally birds don't like eating moths because of their hairiness and everything else, but the hornworms in particular, uh, they love to eat. And our birds, the chickens, we're going to feed it to them. But uh, we want to show you what a few days of neglect can do and uh, <laughs> what kind of infestation you can get. So yes, here's uh, one of my children playing with one. Stop. Let's check it out. All right, here's one hornworm. Now, I'm going to put my finger next to it. And you can see how big that sucker is. Now, here's the head of it. There's the eyes. Oh, it's like smothering greenness, yuckiness on me. And there's the tail, there's the horn. And so this is the, uh, the tomato variety. I'm going to take one off and show you. That's how big it is. <laughs> That's one nastiness that uh, will devastate your tomato plants. Like here's another example here. You can see all these leaves are literally ripped off, torn off. Even here on this guy right here, the tomato is half eaten. So yeah, they'll actually eat the tomatoes too, not only the leaves. Now I'm picking these off like little cucumbers and uh, they're pretty gross they're actually kind of interesting they're kind of like a uh, little tacky on the legs and very smooth on the outside people find them gross for me uh, gross is fine not a big deal I'm gonna go ahead and capture these but I wanted to show you how big they get like here's the size of my finger and here's some of these hornworms once again this is the tail and the eyes the little beady eyes are right there and it is on my cherry tomato plant here now the fortunate thing is we did get rid of most of our tomato plants we've already harvested them this is kind of just the aftermath this is kind of a, a wild variety of, uh, of tomatoes that I volunteered and so we kept it on and it's a cherry uh, tomato type and this thing probably has like oh my goodness is another one probably has at least a dozen of these guys and you know what this is like literally uh, Probably like three days of neglect, four days of neglect. I don't even remember how long we were gone. But that's how bad it can get. And uh, these guys, um, they can devastate your plants rather quickly. So you want to get rid of it. You want to stay on top of your tomatoes and, uh, and get rid of these guys as soon as you can catch them. Uh, what I would recommend is not something like this, a regular flashlight. I would recommend a uh, black light because uh, then they'll, they'll actually uh, be a different color. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, then you'll be able to spot them more readily. Um, I'm trying to look for another one here. Ah, here's another one right here. And so this is a little early guy. Oh my goodness, some of these guys are a little tougher. Oh, he's squirting all sorts of yuckiness on me. Probably should have used some scissors instead. But here's another one. Here's another one right here. Yeah. And you would, you, you know, these are moths and some caterpillars can be poisonous. But these particular ones are not. And so you can grab them with your hand as long as you're not squeamish. I mean, uh, they're kind of fun to touch, actually. <laughs> but, but yeah, they are pretty gross. Uh, my wife is uh, cringing as we do this. But, yeah, here's a few right here. So feed them to your chickens. Feed them to the birds. They'll, uh, they'll enjoy them. And, uh, and uh, they do make kind of pretty moths as moths go. I mean, they're not caterpillars. They're not going to turn into, you know, monarch butterflies or anything. So go ahead, feed them to your chickens. Don't feel bad about disposing of them. Um, and, and apparently these also can get parasites from, um, from wasps. They'll lay into them, but these are clean. And uh, I think they are kind of cute pets for some children, I guess. <laughs> not for my children, but... But for some, and uh, otherwise, they're just going to be a delicacy for our chickens, okay? Alrighty. Shalom. And look at that nastiness on my hand. Ugh.